Tribe 2.0. It is Monday, my dudes. I did not figure out this camera before we started. You would think it was my first time doing a live stream. It just keeps falling down. I don't know what I've done to it. It's like not doing its thing. Ta-da. Oh, my hair looks like a little weird nest. How's everybody going? How's everybody going? How's everybody doing? Let me figure out where the live stream is so I can watch and read the comments. Please hold, my computer is slow, or I'm slow. Somebody's slow here today, I don't know. It might be me. All right, let's see what we got. So, Jamie is the first one in. Hi, Jamie and Sarah and Cheryl and Lorena. Marvin, Marvin, I'm so proud of you for making it on time. And we've got Catitude, what's up, Catitude? Some kind angel, Amanda, Anita, my mother is in here. Hello, Red Dragon Lady. Autumn leaves, and that's where we're at right now. And Kimmy D, so, what you got? Box. For what? No. No reason. You're going to hold a box while we do this? Can I not? Sure you can. Get off my back about it. You can do whatever you want, sir. <laughs> I mean, don't get naked or nothing because then we'll get demonetized real quick. And uh, I mean, it'll be enjoyable, but I don't think YouTube would allow it. I get a little scream. I get a little geisha. No. I will get geisha scream. No, you got to do what John Cena did. So John Cena at the Oscars yesterday went out on stage holding the envelope just in front of his junk. He was buck-ass naked. Uh, at the Oscars and the picture that everybody has like as thumbnails or screenshots or whatever you want to call it he looks really weird because he's in like Birkenstock sandals but his toes look kind of like this like he's trying to keep the sandals on right and then his quads it's like he did a lot of squats and push-ups and all kinds of stuff before he went on stage because he wanted to be like super yoked I guess you could say it's real interesting looking I didn't watch it though so <clears throat> so he came out naked with an envelope with an envelope <clears throat> covering his envelope 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 it's envelope 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 I don't know it's not an o n v e l <laughs> envelope not envelope whatever so he does this you can't see me yeah but he didn't do that <laughs> so if he said is that, the, is that the same? That's, you can't do that on live TV, though. So you got to be real careful with that. I mean, you know, all that working out, he, it, I don't, mean, it don't make everything bigger. I was about to say, whatever he's doing, he, it, the, the envelope, envelope was, it wasn't large, but it wasn't a tiny one. It wasn't like, it was like one of those little thank you ones that you get. Oh. No, it wasn't a thank you one. It was like a, please come to the wedding and bring family and friends. It was like a big one like that. Not like a little... Just the RSVP real quick. Like it wasn't one of them know. legal 11 by 14. No, it wasn't one of those, though. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I don't know if anybody saw it, but okay, John Cena. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Did anybody say? Oh, yeah. So Sarah said he wasn't fully naked. No, there's no way because heaven forbid he would have dropped that envelope. He had to have something over his. Yeah, you know, he has a. Uh... I was thinking of a leaf. <laughs> that way if he dropped it, he'd just be like, ah, you know. Like Tarzan style, but a little bit different. He got that new, uh, the new bikini thing. The new bikini thing. Oh, that thing. I sent it to you. Didn't I send it to you? You did. I did not save it. It should still be in our messages then. You know how we've messaged a million times. All you have to do is click and look at all the pictures at once. You know how to do that, right? We still send a lot of pictures. That's true. We do a lot of stuff. So, um... Yeah, he had something covering his butt, too. A lot of eyeballs. If he had turned around, he would have had a lot of eyeballs covering his butt. I know that. It's called... <laughs> no, that's not it. I will say that I didn't watch the Oscars, but I saw a thing of how everybody was dressed at the Oscars. And I remember, like, back in the day that the Oscars were where you, like, dressed up. You looked bougie. You looked glamorous. You looked so good. And now it's like, is this the Oscars or MTV Movie Awards? Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of skin happening these days in the Oscars. I'm just saying. Max. I don't know why he tries to sneak in there. Like He does it all the time. The dog tries to sneak into our room when we're out here. He's like, oh, they're occupied. I'm going to go lay down on their carpet. And then once, he randomly decided to try to jump up on the bed while I was in there. He likes and I to looked do, at him and he's like, oh, I'm not allowed stuff. to do this. He likes to do this stuff and then like throw up stuff. So it's like, we throw up on the... That's on why the, you're not allowed. On the LVP. Not allowed in there. Yeah. Hi, Maxi Poo. Hello. Do you want to This, say this hi? is it right Hold here. On. Wait. I'm, there's Senor e Poo. Hi, Maxi Poo. Hello. He's the best. Apparently, right, this is it. a new fashion trend for the summer. And this is it. This is as close as I'm going to get to the screen. <laughs> I'll do it. Because <laughs> it's funny. This is the new thing. I don't know how it stays there because either they're really pointing northeast or northwest or whatever. There's got to be. 
there, there's no way it's real. There's no way. But I can't figure out where it goes unless it plugs up the butt to hold it in place. That's the only way it would make sense. One more time, in case you guys are curious. It I has to go around the butt. I doubt that that would be any stretch of the imagination for, no, these, for these guys. That's, that's how it's got to work. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I answered it. Somebody said, how's his tail? His tail is great. He's done trying to gnaw on his butt because we took him last week. I don't think I told you guys. Did I tell you? We took him. Yeah, it was a lot. So we took I him. I thought I told you. We took him and he got his yearly thing done, all his stuff or whatever. Then I had to go put poop into a little vial and take it to the, the vet. And I didn't know how much you're supposed to scoop, <laughs> pooper scooper. And I don't know if you're supposed to scoop a little or a lot. So I scooped mid and it got on my pinky and I was like, Ugh, it's gross. Um, but he has no worms. So that's good. But then they did his anal gland thing. And so he's quit trying to lick his butt. And we walk out the door. And I said, hey. You're not allowed to do that. No, until I'm not we... doing the champagne. Yeah, but still. Oh. Man. So we're walking out the door. And I said, hey, Hi. did you get the poop? And I forgot the poop. This is not something you say on a normal basis. Yeah, it's not something you remember. Let me get this vial of poop to take with us. Well, if you're going to drink that, I'm going to drink my hot tea using my uh, PB&J mug. If Jess or Phil watches this ever. I don't know if they watch, but uh, this is one of our favorite places I at the Destin Commons Food Hall. And if you send her the link, she watches. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who ever decide to... You got that for their birthday? Yeah, so the Destin Commons Food Hall has been up for just over a year. PB&J is one of the places in there that we absolutely love to go to because Philip and Jess Bauer, their husband and wife. So obviously we, we like the fact that their husband and wife doing a business together because that's, you know, whatever. Do business. Do business. And um, they had this, they decided to do this whole thing for the year that they've been in business. And they did like a happy birthday banner and all kinds of stuff. And if you made a purchase, you got like a free goodie bag. They had t-shirts, they had hats and, and stickers. We got there kind of late. But I got a coffee mug, so I'm happy. But anyway, if you ever go to Oak come to Okaloosa County or anywhere in the surrounding area and you decide to go to Destin Commons, go to the food Maria, hall. Maria. Maria, I'm talking to you. When you go, yeah. you have to get the, well, you have to get the, the. Well, there's two. There's the chicken caprese sandwich. The chicken caprese. There's the, the chicken and the, salad and the one. And the hummus. And the hummus is roasted really good. Roasted red pepper hummus. And whipped feta. It's roasted red pepper whipped feta hummus. Yeah. And then they also have the best sweet potato fries I've ever had because Phil Philip makes the ranch like he, I mean he's he's like a like legit chef and he makes the ranch and now I'm drooling because it's the best ranch it's so good and then he makes these burgers Wednesdays is burgers and every Wednesday it's different there's the mac and cheese burger there was one that was like a um, Asian style I don't even know what to call it they did like crab bok, rangoon kind of stuff it, uh, on it I don't even know so good so was good it a bok choy thing mm, he did one like that so. I'm so hummus, hummus comes from the Middle East, mm -hmm. yeah. but I don't know exactly where. Uh, well, it's chickpeas normally, but he he switched it up and made a red pepper hummus. But he was saying that somebody came in; they were a native, uh huh, and they said, "Dude, your hummus is kind of weak." Well, because it, it used to be like everybody else's, just chickpeas, and he'd put like garlic oil on it. it was so good. It could be like everybody else's, but it was still better than everybody else's. No, no, no. But 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 it inspired him to make it better. He's like, I just made it to have it on the menu. And then somebody comes in and was like, dude, you could do better. And he did better. Oh, so David Smith said, nude on the stage, the Red Hot Chili Peppers did it first. So when I was 16, I went and saw um, No Doubt in concert because like they were awesome when I was 16. And uh, it was really cool. Lakewood Amphitheater, I think, in Atlanta. And the opening act was Weezer. Okay, now I'm 16. Just turned 16, probably. It's the first time I was allowed to like, go do anything like this. Ma, I don't know if you remember. Uh, you were like, I don't really want you to do this, but you let me do it. Just the kids go into a concert, me and my boyfriend at the time. So we go, and Weezer comes out on stage, and Weezer is buck-ass naked. And they're using um, black duct tape to hold socks on their junk, and they had X's over their nipples. There was nothing covering so the butt, butt cracks. Naked. That's not there, butt naked. I know, but there's nothing covering the butt cracks. Well, Red Hot Chili Peppers wasn't butt naked either. I would know if Anthony Kiedis had been naked. Because if you're going to say butt naked, hair, Anthony Kiedis? then Blink-182 was butt naked, too. That's true. And they weren't. If anybody was butt naked, it was, it was Steve-O. Oh, well, he's also boofing things. So, I mean, Steve-O is a little special. Between him and uh, uh, Johnny Knoxville and Bam Margera back in the day, they were all a little special. But uh, Anthony Kiedis with long hair... I was slightly obsessed as a teenager. Cannot even lie. That one video of him where he's just running, shirtless running, I was like, oh, who knew skinny dudes were hot? Like, 
Yeah, I, I wasn't. I'm not like a huge Aquaman fan. Oh no! But, but that commercial he did with the the, the Scrubs, Scrubs guy that was pretty funny. Yeah, with um, what's his name? Zach Braff and Donald Faison. Yeah, that one's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, funny. That's what we're going with. Funny. Yeah, and, <laughs> then, the, and then the guy from uh, Thanos. What's his name? Who's Thanos? Oh, Josh Brolin. Yeah, on Saturday Night Live. I honestly, I think he's a really good actor. I think he's a very good actor. I also think that he's a little, a little special. I think he's a really good actor. I just don't think he's very funny. Can you get the drinks and stuff going? Yes. Thanks. No, he's not funny. He, he's definitely not funny. Mm, mm. No. No, he's definitely. I not think funny. when he was trying to be funny, he was being himself. But when he was acting, he could be funny. Yes. Isn't that weird how that works? Well, that's like if I tried to if I tried to act and try to the, be the, funny or the, whatever. The the never open happen. monologue. Yeah. yeah. Goonies never die. He was the older brother in Goonies. Josh Brolin. He was? Yeah. You didn't know that. He didn't know that. He was also in um, one of the Men in Blacks. I think the third one. He's been in so much stuff. It, yeah. Oh, so side note, we're doing something new today. We stopped at the liquor store and I have, just so we're all fully aware, I have put the macros in for the champagne into my, my Fitness Pal app today. So I am, I understand these are going towards my calories. Um, but they only going towards that ass. <laughs> that too. We only had they only had one bottle of the Andre Brut we normally get, so we decided to try this one. We, I did. I went and got it only because it said most awarded. So now I need to taste it and be like, mm, they lied. Better marketing. Or, it's great marketing gimmick. Most awarded wine brand. Ha ha. See, you got to read the fine print, the brand, not yeah. the bubbly itself. I wouldn't have fell for it. Well, I liked their stuff before, so I figure I might as well. Um, Carlery says, any streakers lately on spring break beaches, guys? Oh, no, but since you asked about spring breakers, I was just telling him we're sitting in line for pickup for the kid, and I'm telling him about a 16-year-old over on 30A who just got arrested for shooting at a family, which the first thing I thought was a 16-year-old shooting at a family. Are you effing kidding me, right? So this kid, the 16-year-old from Texas, he's here on vacation for spring break, and he's somewhere I, I don't i didn't read exactly where he was but he was in a window somewhere and he had a they called it a glock 19 bb gun i don't know if that means that's the brand that makes it or whatever it's not a glock 19 but they call that's what they named it a glock 19 BB. that's because if they didn't do that no one would read the article okay so this kid has this thing right it's He's a got polymer this. pistol that just looks like any other uh dual stack magazine polymer pistol it could have been they could have said glock they could have said sig they could have said springfield they could have said uh taurus and wesson they chose glock that's exactly what i was going to say everything he just said but he beat me to it um so this kid has this bb gun and he starts shooting at this family that's walking back from dinner he hits a 10 year old he hits i think as a 13 year old and a 17 year old with this bb gun from however far away he 20 was shots. right he shot 20 shots. So I don't know how many of them connected, but he shot 20 shots. And um, the police like got to him or whatever and arrested him. And he was like, oh, I was just having fun. Bro, shooting at people is never fun. I don't understand. Speaking of shooting. People these days. Oh, you can't do it. <laughs> I don't know how anybody Dang, does that. I, I don't that know sound. how anybody does it with one finger. A thumb. See, I have no comment. <laughs> Ladies, no, I have no comment. Um, if you could pour a little bit of this, please. Are you going to try it before the orange juice to see what sure. it tastes like? All right, so how about this? How did they catch him? Somebody called it in. Nope. They caught him because he was too stupid to move from where he shot the shots. Well, from. <laughs> obviously somebody called it in. Obviously somebody called it in, you know. He probably I, put it on social media while he was doing it because kids these days are dumbasses. So I have recorded a video for this uh -huh. story. Uh-huh. And, oh, I'll, and I'll, I'll give you all the, the details. Sorry, I didn't know. Keep going. No, I'm going to give you all the details. Okay, give me the deets. Give me the deets. Because I'm curious as to what people think about this. Let's try this real fast. Okay, we're going to cheers to this, and then we'll add orange juice, because I want to try this. So, before he gives us the deets, whatever you have, because it is Mimosa Monday, it doesn't have to be anything fancy and bubbly. It can be water, but it cannot be an empty cup. Here is to the coming up week. <laughs> Let there be no dumbasses with BB guns in the vicinity of wherever you are. Avoid South Beach. Avoid South Beach because they don't like tourists anymore. Avoid um, Myrtle Beach if you want your butt cheeks hanging out. That's illegal. 
oh, how's that going to work? Because everybody's got their butt cheeks out these days. They don't even make shorts for ki- for girls anymore that don't involve a little butt cheeks. Hey, we were going to go, but now it just ruins my entire beach ensemble. So I'm not going. <laughs> I, if I can't show just, my butt cheeks. I'm not going. I thought you were saying you're viewing. I was like, well, I, I get it. but No, I don't want to see all butt cheeks. No, 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 no not no. all butt cheeks are that, created we've equal. We've talked about this. Yeah, they're Careful not all what created. you wish for. Yes, that's true. Okay, so anyway, here is to the coming week. I hope it's fabulous. I hope you guys get exactly what you want and that things go well and no negativity, okay? Cheers. Negativity. Try. Negativity. Oh, it smells good. Meh. Doesn't taste bad. Not bad. Uh-uh. It's actually pretty good by itself. It is. But I'm still going to take a splash of OJ. Thank you so much. So, um, for those of you who may have peeped... Oh, wait, no. Do your do your deets, and then I'm going to do the rest. Sorry. I squirrel. It's not on purpose. But I'd like to know what people think about this, because Don't essentially... No. No, you have to go slow with the orange juice. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. You made it right to the top. It it like afroed up and not out. Go slow. It's like a little mushroom head. No. (laughs) Yeah, but like, what do people think about this? It was called in, but how did they find this guy? I would have to assume they found him because like that movie Shooter with Mark Wahlberg, which is such a good movie. Did you read the article? No, I just read that little blurb that I read ah. to you while we were sitting in line. Because in the article, I thought there was a typo. And they said they used flock. Uh-huh. And I'm no, like, I did see that I'm part. Like, no, no, it's a glock. No, they used flock. So I thought they were that was like a SWAT kind of thing, but like different. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You want to guess is what flock is? A drone. It's a camera system uh-huh. designed to track cars, license plates, and gunshots. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. And it uses AI to triangulate, which then led them back. They traced this car based on the cameras. Uh huh. Once they once they pick it up, they got it. Then they trace it for thirty days. If, if you go thirty days without being wanted, then you're deleted from the system. And they traced him back to where he was staying. Uh huh. And then. So he was shooting out of his car? Yeah. What a dumbass. With a Texas tag. With, oh, that's how they knew it was from Texas. Okay, continue. Shooting out of a car with a Texas tag. Okay. They use Flock and all the cameras to track him everywhere. These cameras. Okay. Are, eagle next eye. Next time we go. Oh, eagle eye is such a good Next time we too. go, we got to look for the camera. Well, obviously. So these cameras are everywhere, which we haven't noticed as we've been there. Uh-huh. We haven't noticed them, but they're there. That's smart. Sneak. But they use these cameras to track you. Uh-huh. Even if you haven't done anything wrong, you're in the system. But then they pull it up. They use AI. They find him. They find him. And then they do some more investigating through his Snapchat mm-hmm. to find, I think, some other people. Okay. And that's how Social media will get you every time? That's Well, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. For the people who got shot, mm-hmm. I'm sure they're very appreciative Oh, yeah, I'm sure. This. I'm sure. Same thing I've said the whole time. This whole AI thing is going to be just absolutely like crazy, but... For the people it helps, they're going to be grateful for it. For the people that it hurts, they're going to be like, damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in that boat right now. Second Amendment. We're in that boat right now. That's true. You know, the same, the same product could harm or help in the wrong hands. Very true. Very true. I was going to say something and I don't remember. Before the deets? After the deets. Oh. Okay, are we done with that one? Yeah. Okay, cool. So listen, um, last night I was making dinner and I make this thing that I really like. It, it, I think there's an actual name for it and I think I maybe told it to you guys before. I think it's called Alabama Crack Slaw. <laughs> I don't, I think it's the name of it, mm-hmm. where you take literally coleslaw and you add like ground beef to it. So I take jasmine rice and ground beef. Anytime I make ground beef, which to, like, yesterday it was ground turkey with like peppers and onions and whatever else. And I mix it with rice. And then I put the coleslaw stuff on it, like the, the cabbage and stuff. And then I add just a little bit of coleslaw dressing or mix to it. And I stir it all up, right? And then I put it over lettuce. And then I add um, fried onions, those little fried French's fried onions to the top. And then I put a little bit of whatever spicy kind of um, salad dressing I have on it, right? And that's, that's the salad. So you get a little bit of sweet from the coleslaw. You get crunchy from the cabbage and the lettuce. And then you get some carbs from the rice and some flavor from the ground turkey and the onions and the whatever else. And it's really, really good. I can eat that every single day, no problem, right? So I made it last night for myself. And the kid comes out and I'm watching Once Upon a Time 
on, on the iPad with my headphones on and she comes up and she just stands next to me and stares at my bowl. So I give her the fork. She takes a couple bites. She likes it. So I make her one. And so then I say to him, Hey, do you want me to just make you this salad thing that I make all the time? He's like, yeah, it's, it's fine. So I make it for him, but I didn't use the right lettuce. So normally I use romaine lettuce. This time I used butter lettuce. And for those of you who know the difference, romaine lettuce is crunchy. Butter lettuce is very, very soft. It's what you use to make like little baby wraps of something. Like if you want bougie, like wraps with lettuce and whatever. So I made it with that. And by the time I had warmed up the rice and the ground turkey, and then I put the lettuce on it, the lettuce got a little toasty, I guess you could say. So I gave him the food and I asked him like towards the end, I was like, how is it? He goes, hot lettuce, not for me. Thanks though. So he didn't really like it. Would you have liked it if it had been crunchy lettuce? So no, you don't like the way it works all mixed together. Your taste buds are so broken. I honestly thought you were just making a regular salad. I, I didn't even turn around when you asked. I just oh. thought it was a regular salad. And, oh, yeah, poor I, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you were unhappy with last night's dinner for the first time in maybe 16 years. I was say I was unhappy. I ate most of it. Yeah. So you'll know if I'm angry at you when I feed you the same thing. <laughs> You'd be like, are you okay? I'm, yeah, I'm fine. And then I just plop down that salad in front of you and be like, damn it, I did something. Bowl of hot lettuce. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> but it was so good. I enjoyed it immensely. Well, good. More for you. I know. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I almost finished yours last night and I was like, no, he might have spit in it because he doesn't like it. <laughs> no. I don't want this. <laughs> That's just strange. That is strange. Why did you bring your box over here? Uh, purely as a distraction. Hey, mission accomplished. Yeah. High five. I was distracted. By your box. <laughs> Purely as a distraction. That's what he said. Um, why are these over here? Why are what over there? Oh, so uh, y'all know the Ayurveda Sunday stuff, and Jess sent me a whole bunch of like little tester ones. I finally smelled all these of them. Are the, these are the testes. These are the, <laughs> the testes. So I got, I smelled more of them. I've been using the same ones, the black rose and plum one, and then the damask rose or something in plum. I've been using the same ones, and I finally decided to smell a bunch of other ones. Y'all, y'all don't even understand. You have to smell these two because you haven't smelled them yet. Well, you have on me. I can't smell while I'm drinking this. Okay. This. So this is one of the newest ones I really like, bergamot and, and what does that say, amberwood? I don't even know how to describe it except for... What does this name mean? God, it smells so good. What does this name mean? So I don't know what Erve means, but Lucindy is literally her cat and her dog's names mixed together. <laughs> so that's where Lucindy came from. Jess, hopefully you don't mind that I said that. She told me in an email. She took her... She's got a really, really, really cute dog, really cute cat. She took their names, smushed them together to get Lucindy. Erve means something, but I don't remember what she said. It smell. Oh, you can't. Y'all, this one smells so good, though. Okay, so... I don't know how to explain what it smells like though. It's like sweet, but musky sweet at the same time. It's, it's a Belgian so cheese, similar to Limburger. You sure you can't like put that down and smell this? It smells good. Yeah, this one is really good. So then I'm really sad. So I, I, I emailed Jess and I was like, one of my little spray things doesn't work. This one that I want to wear more than anything in the world, I can't get to work. So I'm hoping I can use up one of these and then pour this one into it. But this one's called Sparkling Appleberry Compote. Yeah, you want to know what it smells like? I'll tell you exactly what it smells like. Oh, God, heaven. Y'all remember when you used to go to, like, Bath and Body Works when you were younger? And I they don't, had I those. Shush, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to everybody over here. And they had those, um, the, the apple ones. I don't remember what it's called, but the apple. Fritter. No. There was one with apple, country apple. So it smells like country apple, but then add in, oh, God, um, add in. What's the other smell? I have what she's having. The, yeah. The, the rose kind of smell. This smells so much better than Country Apple at Bath & Body Works ever smelled. They wish they could smell like this. This is, and this is the one that won't work. I keep trying and it won't spray and I'm so sad. I want to wear this one so bad. Move. No, no. Move your glass. Smell it. That one smells good. Yeah. You like the other one better? Yeah. This, one's, this one's sweeter. This one's definitely sweeter than the other one. So, and then there's this one, this one, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this one, the Dahlia Petals and Sandalwood. This is like my new absolute fave. Oh, that's what uh, Deplorable Daughter says. So yes, this one, this is the one I've worn to the gym the last like three days in a row. <laughs> oh, it's up my nose now. Smell. Tell me about your very unpleasant gym experience today. 
My very, oh yeah. No, you don't even know about that, do you? Oh, is oh, there, that is part. There more? No, there's more. Is there more? But wait, there's more. Yes. Okay, wait, what's this one? No, this is the one I wore today. Look, I was literally about to be like, y'all smell. Yeah, I forget. It's not how it works. I need all of you to fit into my living room so we can just pass these around. Sn sniff, sniff, pass. <laughs> sniff, sniff, pass. So this one's called um, Hinoki and Yuzo. I know what none of that means. Is that working? Is it doing its thing? There you go. I know what none of it means. All I know is it smells like I'm in a field of flowers. Yeah, that's all I got. Field of flowers. See if you can smell that one. So... If, are there new scents come? That's a good one. That's a really good one. Are there right? new scents coming out? Or are there more scents that? There's so many on the on, that I don't even realize. I think are it would there. be cool to pick some scents that you've never experienced, uh -huh. and like put it on a community post, uh -huh. and give everybody time to get them, uh -huh. and then smell them together at the same time. Oh, that'd be cool. So somebody commented that they wish that there was like a sample pack that you could buy to just get all of the little samples, and I don't know if just does that if if Hervé, Hervé, Hervé Lucindy does it so I'm gonna give her that uh, email that to her she's working on so much stuff y'all so I get to be the guinea pig and I'm so excited again not sponsored at all whatsoever just really friggin love this stuff um I feel like they all just smell so good okay I'm done um but anyway so she's working on a whole bunch of stuff so hopefully there'll be new new things coming soon so at the gym today two things three things N well you told me about two what two? I told you about one. Okay. Then you're Wait. Not... Whisper it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Go ahead. Treadmill? Say what you want. Go, go for it. Treadmill and bathroom. Yeah. Two things. Oh, I thought you said there was another one. I didn't tell you about the bathroom. I said that I'm waiting to tell you. So there's until... three things. No, there's the treadmill and the bathroom. I told you about the treadmill. I mentioned bathroom, but you don't know the story. Oh, okay. So there's two things. I thought you, I thought, okay, got it. That's... Side note. For anybody out there watching, this isn't fighting. Just so we're all fully aware. Somebody left a comment one day like, I can't ah, watch this ah, too much ah, fighting. Ah, and I was like, ah, oh. Whatever. Oh. Go on. No. Okay, so. Um, they get no air time. Okay. So we went to uh, the gym, right? We went at like 2 o'clock because we had to get the kid by 3.30, right? So we went to the gym and he immediately started doing weights because his legs, he, he did a little too much on leg day and he's walking like there's a stick up his butt, but like in a sore leg kind of way. And he decided doing the treadmill was not a thing. So he took some pre-workout. Side note, that's what I was trying to tell you guys about in yesterday's video. If you watched yesterday's video and I was showing you all of the protein powder and everything we got, and I said there's pre-workout, but I can't reach it. It's this stuff, the Ghost Legend. This is the pre-workout. This is the blue raspberry one. I like this one. Doesn't make you feel like you're hot. Doesn't give you the jitters. None of that crap. It's just really good energy. So we go to the gym. I decide to do the treadmill. Big gym energy. Big gym energy. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt and pants, and I'm, I'm kind of in my head when we get there, because I'm I was think wearing a t-shirt, no pants. <laughs> Why'd you say pants? They know you wear pants. <laughs> no, I could have been wearing shorts. Short sleeve shorts? Okay. Got yeah, it. long short sleeve pants. That's how Marvin put it. <laughs> long sleeve shorts? I don't know how we're supposed to do this. So, um, so we get there, and I'm kind of in my head thinking about Squirrel Tribe, the, cha the other channel, right? And so I'm already kind of like, man. And I get on the treadmill, and I'm like, I'm just going to go. I'm going to listen to my music, and I'm going to get out of my head. It'll be fine. And then my phone decides to just quit doing anything. And he sends me a text, and he said, what happened? And I reply back, with what? And he says, your mood seems to have changed. You were happy this morning, and now you're not. And I was really confused. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. Like, whatever. Because I didn't know that he could see me on the treadmill. And I was clearly making some sort of faces on the treadmill. But it's because my music quit. The, my, my messages to him were not going out. I couldn't get YouTube to pull up. It wouldn't connect to Wi-Fi. Nothing was working. And it pissed me off because I'm on a treadmill at 12 and a half incline at 2.7 speed. I need my music so I can keep trucking. And nothing's working. So I'm taking off my headphones, throwing my phone down, whatever else. And so he sees that thinking I'm in a bad mood, but it's just because everything went haywire for no apparent reason. I do 15 incline. Hold on. I'm trying to see if we have any cookies around here because clearly you want one. I don't think we have any cookies. <laughs> no, that's funny. High five. <laughs> no, okay. So I'd that rather, was... I'd rather eat hot lettuce. That was, that was number one, right? Don't make me fix your plate for dinner with hot lettuce underneath your, your supper. steak. <laughs> your supper. Lupper or Leonard? 
It's gotta be one of the two, Lupper or Liner. If it's in between, I don't like supper. I like Lupper or Liner. It's like a lunch dinner or lunch. I just won't eat. Okay, <laughs> so then the other thing at the gym, y'all, my biggest fear in life was realized today, but for somebody else, which is horrible to say. But so I go to the, I go into the bathroom, into the, the locker room and I have my headphones on. I'm listening to music. And when you walk into the women's restroom or locker room, you can go to the right towards the actual toilets and then the showers are past it. Or you can go left and you can go over to where you can change and do all that stuff, right? Well, I went right because I had to pee. It's the end of everything and we're about to leave. I know I got to sit through the pickup line for school. I need to go pee. So I go over and you can clearly see that all three doors are open. Like they're not open, but they're like not closed. They're like where the door is just like up against the frame, right? But not like closed into the frame. Right. I don't know how to explain this. A jar. Yeah. So I could have gone to the first one and I was like, nah, I'm going to go to the second one. So I go to the second one. And because I have headphones on, I can't hear anything. And because I've got stuff in my hands, I'm not really looking at anything. And I grab the handle and I pull the door back. At the exact same time, this lady has her hand behind her butt to wipe herself. And I was like, oh, damn. Oh, oh. And I just, I tried to shut the door. But oh, what damn. had happened was she locked the door before it was fully shut. So the lock was in place. Like, you know, that little, the little thing won't push in. And so I could not oh, shut man. her door. Damn. It wouldn't shut. So I was like, sorry. And I went into the stall next to her and closed the door, right? But I, I don't, that is my biggest fear. Is somebody Did you just, no. You had mentally, on. mentally. But that is my biggest fear is somebody opening the door while I'm in the middle of wiping something or doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, but the, I, think I mean, the, the front fear. wipe would have been fine. But it, you, you know, when you, when you poop wipe, you have to like, lift and twist to get and that's where we were right here and she looked up at the same time i looked up and we made eye contact while her hand is like trying to get into a crack well now you're now now the, you're posed with the question of do you acknowledge her in the gym oh yes i just won't shake her you, you hand. have to you yeah mm -hmm. you have to I'll, I'll i'll go this way so she has to shake with her left hand i because she didn't i don't think she washed her hands when she left she was embarrassed so she left I didn't, I didn't see her go to the sink because I can see the feet under the door and I didn't hear anything. We're not right hand shaking because it was right hand that was Dude, in her butt You crack. don't shake hands at the gym. You're women. You don't shake hands at the gym. That's true. You go, ah, and then you walk back up. I don't do that. Oh, so the other, no, there is three things. You're right. There is three things. So this morning for breakfast, I had egg whites and I, I mixed some bell peppers and onions into it. And then I had some salsa on it and some like avocado guac mix, right? No carbs, kind of trying to stick to the proteins and fats. But the downside to that is uh, red onions, okay? The downside to that is, is that if you ladies, you know how we don't burp as ladies, right? Whatever. If you do happen to accidentally burp, it's got a flavor to it, which means it has a scent to it, okay? So I'm going, before I get to the woman's stall and open the door and see her with her arm up her butt, I, I'm walking around the corner and I burp <laughs> and I tried to hold it. It was like a very small one. I tried to hold it. It wasn't like a loud thing. It was just like one of those things that like up your throat and you're, uh, right. And at the exact same time I did it, one of the trainers that's there comes walking out and I know she had to walk through the cloud of burp, <laughs> the cloud of burp. And I'm like, Oh, you can't even, she knows it's me. It's not like anybody else was there. So now when she sees me, she's even like, Ugh, <laughs> because she had to walk through my uh, onion eggs <laughs> and guacamole burp. <laughs> Poor thing. I felt really bad for her. What a day. What a day. It's been a day. And the world's loudest ice maker. It's not his butt or mine. It is the ice maker. Just doing whatever it do. Is the sticker coming off the front? Oh no, it looked like it from the light. Could have always been worse. You're right, Sarah. All of it could have been worse. Thankfully, it was not. Um, <clears throat> No, TW said, no, you just changed the time you work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that was good because that's not a normal that's time. That's not our normal time. So that, that was good. We will never be back. <laughs> we norm so I've realized that different times we go, it's obviously different crowds. Two o'clock seems to be the older crowd. It was too busy. For two o'clock. Yeah. I agree. It, it's not normally like that. The last couple times we went, it wasn't like that. But it was definitely busier today. Um <clears throat> What does Denise say? Better than when my husband 
left me after he dropped a fart. Yeah. That would suck. <laughs> you get, you get, um, no. So somebody did that to me at the gym yesterday. Get, not yesterday, day before <laughs> while we were there. One of the guys on the, on the back, he was putting up the 45s and I was about to walk through and I heard it, but I could not bypass it. And I just walked straight through it. I was like, this is why I'm glad I'm wearing body spray or the perfumes because hopefully, so you said it, I hopefully you the were, fart didn't stick to me. I thought you were basking in the ambiance, but you heard it. No, I heard it. And no, I, I got a whiff of it on the way through. With your headphones on? Yeah. You didn't hear it? No. Broski was putting up the 45. As a <laughs> That's the downside. You, can, you can't have to kind of sort of pee or kind of sort of fart and bend down to pick up a 45 to put it up. Something will escape, whether it's pee or air. Something will escape. There's no way it won't. The gym is a very interesting place. Very interesting. I like watching people. So when we go, he does the treadmills that look outside. I do the treadmills that look at all the people because I like watching people work out. And I try not to watch the same person for too long because then it's like weird, right? And heaven forbid they look up and I'm just, right? So <laughs> I like to watch people. But I, it's, it's always interesting watching the ones who <clears throat> are there just to take the selfies on the machines and then post them and then leave, or the ones that are there just to be seen, or the ones that are there to actually work out. Like I, you can tell who's there for that and knows what they're doing. And then the ones who are there and have absolutely no clue but refuse to ask anybody, those are my favorite. There's not a lot of people that I don't know. <clears throat> You're right. There was a lady today that didn't know, and I wanted to like go help her, but I was in the middle of the incline and whatever else, so I was like, ah. And then did you see the lady on Saturday? She she accidentally got trapped in the the trainer room because one of those round yeah, that was wild. one of the round ab that balls ball kept because it's me. it's rubber, so it, it it went up against the door, and every time she tried to open the door out, it would just get stuck against the 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 ball thing. What are those called? The ab ball is what it's I call like a, them. Um, it's not. A, is it Bosa? No, because that's a flat. The bolsa thing or bolsa is flat on one side and then rounded on the other. Either way, somebody had used it and then just let it go and it went up against the door. So every time she tried to open the door, it just kept getting stuck. Like it would not go any farther. And there's like that little window that so you can see. Stability ball. Billy ball? Stability. Stability ball. So there's that little window and I could see her. We could see her from the treadmill and she's trying to like yell out the door when she can get it open this far to one of the other trainers. And I was trying to wait for the trainer to look up so I could be like, hey, behind you. And finally, after like two or three minutes, she figured it out. The trainer heard her and turned around and let her out. But that's a really weird way to get trapped into a room is by a rubber ball. But also, hey, good, good to know if you don't have like a chair to stick under a handle or any other way to stop a door from opening, just put a rubber ball in, in front of it. I would have popped that <clears> ball. <throat> I would have found a way to pop that ball. Well, yeah. I mean, you're or a grown ball, ass man. Or break the door off the frame. I don't think it was that severe. If, if she was the only one? If she was yeah, closing? Yeah. No, I would, have, I would have had anxiety at that moment and, and had to bust through like the little window thing. So she was in the room and it, the room is labeled personal training. Mm-hmm. And I said that when you go in there, they tell you that it's not about fitness. They mm -hmm. tell you to change your personality. <laughs> so now that you're here for your personal training, um, what's it called when you go ahead of time? Like they talk to you and stuff. What's it called? Tell me the answer. <laughs> Ooh. When you go in the, <laughs> oh, stop. When you go and you have these, like the, the prerequisite talks with people, what's it called? I'm going to nut punch you. <laughs> you know, my brain doesn't brain all the time. Somebody help me. A chat? No. Are you talking about I don't know the word. If I knew the word, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Can you be more descriptive? No. <laughs> when you talk to somebody before Consultation. You... Thank you, oh, Renee. Okay. 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 I feel like it was an obvious. Maybe not. Okay. Look, three people got it. Three people got it so far. Consultation. So you go in for this personality consultation. Let me find and, those cookies. And you go in. <laughs> I would like a cookie, though. It, it would be lovely. So you go in for this consultation, and you go in there, and you're like, yeah, you know, this is me, and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, all right, all right, we've written it all down. Now, here's what we would suggest. If you'd like to make more friends or get a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever else, we're only going to do a, a, just one or two small things. We're going to change everything you said to the opposite. <laughs> be everything that you're not. Just flip it all 180 degrees. We'll make a nail look real good. <clears throat> yeah. Real good. Oh, you, you don't do a very good Angela Johnson. 
Oh, I don't? No, not I at all. I don't? But you knew exactly who I was doing? Well, yes, because you said nails. And I knew exactly what you were doing. You were doing her, uh, her uh, nail salon skit, which is the funniest thing I've ever seen in life. It's hilarious. Angela Johnson, Netflix. I'm sad. Why? There's no more Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Not till the next season. I know. So there's no more. Well, there's Reacher, the second season we haven't I know, but they yet. don't have the consultation. They didn't have the, the little therapy session. Reacher doesn't have that. No, but they finished their therapy session on uh, I know, and that was a cool part of the show. True. That's true. That is true. But I can't tell anybody about it. It's a spoiler. <clears throat> it is. Can't say a word. Has anybody seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith? The this? TV show on Prime? Not the movie. The movie's yeah. amazing with Brad Pitt. Although I'm 50-50 on how I feel about that movie because it is where he decided to leave Jennifer Aniston to be with Angelina Jolie. And then look where they are now. Divorced and hate each other because Brad became an alcoholic and Angelina Jolie took the kids. Like, it's its own soap opera. Did he become one or was he <clears> always <throat> one? No, I feel like he became one. I feel like she drove him to it. I feel like Angelina Jolie would drive somebody to drink. <laughs> I feel like Jennifer Aniston would make you just happy. But I'm basing this off of her character on Friends. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about Jennifer Aniston personally, but on Friends, she was adorbs. I would have been Phoebe's best friend, though. Foe would be? The other two could have kicked rocks if, it, if I could have been friends with Phoebe. Yeah. Foe would be. Foe would be. Oh, so Damsel, the deplorable daughter said, I watched a new movie on Netflix called Damsel. That's with the, what's her name, from Stranger Things and from Enola Holmes. The kid and I are supposed to watch that. We're going to watch that. Maybe tomorrow, because we're dyeing her hair red tonight. They went and got the hair dye yesterday, and we're going to do it tonight. I also have to cook dinner now. We're going to make steaks that we got from Butcher Box. So, what else is there? You got anything else? Senor? Sir? No. No? No? Oh, hand me the stuff, the protein. <clears throat> I do that every single time. He hooked himself on the drawer. I do it all the time. So, those of you who watched yesterday's video and I told you about the protein powder that I got that was stupid effing expensive, I understand why. I've had numerous protein powders in my life and I thought that the one I used to get from GNC was the best. This stuff was so good. Let me explain how I drink protein shakes. I mix them up and I sip them because I hate them. I drink them because I need to, because it's protein. I chug the crap out of this thing. This was so good. So if you are on the fence, and again, not sponsored, just really like how it tastes. Um, if you guys are interested in protein and you want the, so this is the whey protein isolate, which means they've taken out the lactose and the fat. <clears throat> so not only is it grass fed, which is the best way you can get beef grass fed, grass finished, but it also has no lactose. So if you are lactose intolerant, it won't bother you. And then if you uh, don't want the extra fat because you're trying to watch your fat content, this is really good too. So that's that. Um, Tavia, Michelle, what's the series you're watching again? Once upon a time, I just started season seven, episode one, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like season seven, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. So that's that. Yeah, this, this, y'all try it. It's really good. That's it. I got nothing. Now I'm gonna go cook some dinner. We got uh, the steaks from Butcher Box. They are grass fed, grass finished. So, what did it say it was? Sirloin? Steak, uh, yeah. It's not the tips, it's like the whole. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, it's not just the tip, it's the whole thing. <laughs> it's the whole shebang. All the meat. All the meat. Yes, there's four of them. So I'll make those steaks tonight for you. So that's that, y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you very, very much. Very mucho. Y'all got anything? No? You good? <laughs> you got anything? No? You good? Okay. So I have some stuff to show you guys tomorrow. Oh, Denise said, have you weighed yourself yet? Yes. Nothing significant. It was like three pounds down. So nothing significant, but certain pants that I have fit way better. So I'm not really worried about the number because I'm building muscle now. Muscle weighs more than fat. So the number isn't really realistic. I do feel like my face, like I said yesterday, isn't as fluffy as it was a couple weeks ago. And my, my stomach isn't, my waist isn't, and I feel good about it. And my sports bra isn't digging in in the places it was digging in a couple weeks ago. So that's what we're going with. And it makes me happy. So mm -hmm. that's that. 
Okay. I love y'all. Y'all uh, have a good rest of your Monday night, my dudes. I'm going to go make some food for the man and the kid. And I might drink another shake for dinner because that shit was tasty. So, love y'all. Oh, you got to get the peanut butter stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the peanut butter. I got to find that tomorrow. So, okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a good night. Adios. Bye. Bye.